Hi guys, this is Mesha Mates here. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you've been working with me for a while, then what's up? So today's video is going to be something different. It certainly wasn't planned, but it was something that literally just happened. So this is going to be like a story time slash exposing the scammer because I recently almost got scammed regarding my previous Thanksgiving beauty giveaway. This is not just exposing the scammer, but it's also just to like build awareness to anyone else on YouTube or in general that is planning on doing a giveaway or anything like that. It's kind of just telling you what happened to me so you, it doesn't happen to you. So let's just start off with what actually happened. So most of you may know that I just hosted a Thanksgiving beauty um, giveaway that just ended last week or a couple days ago, something like that. And I posted the first winner um, on YouTube. I said, hey, congratulations, it's the first winner. You have 48 hours to um, get back to me. That person did not get back to me, so I had to pick a second winner. Therefore, again, that person had 48 hours or whatever. So, um, I'm not going to say who the real winner's name is because there's, there's an actual real person with that name. I'm not going to say it in this video because it's not about her. Um, so we're just going to call this winner Jenny. Jenny from the block. We're going to call her that. So, Jenny from the block was the winner. So I'm like sitting there waiting, you know, trying because I always say you have 48 hours to email me claiming that you are the winner. So, the way that I do my giveaways is that you have to enter through my Gleam link because you have to put your first name, your last name, your email address, and it also pulls your location. So, like I was saying, I was waiting for Jenny from Block to respond back to me, and I got um, a comment on the giveaway video saying, Hey, I won, thank you, and it, it was from Jenny from the Block. Jenny from the block. She was like, yeah, this is my email address. I just emailed you. Like, she was super happy. I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, like, okay, cool. She's about to email me. So, I look at the email. And the email address was not what I saw in the Gleam um, account. But I'm like, you know what? I have five email addresses. Sometimes when I send an email, you know, like when you send your email on your phone, it picks whatever email address it wants to send to or send from so I was like okay I'm not gonna think anything of it maybe she has a different email address okay again you're gonna see her email address I don't care because I'm exposing her but I just want to read you guys and show you guys what the conversation looked like she emailed I'm very happy that I won the giveaway if you reply I'll frequently give you my address babe love you and I said hi Jenny from the blog I scratched out the real name Congratulations on winning the giveaway and thank you for emailing me on time. What is your address so I can mail you your goodies? And she's like, hi, Ampy. First of all, don't shorten my name ambition rights because that doesn't make sense. Ampy, don't do that. Don't. I would like to request you to kindly send the prizes, not now. Please send on 1st December. Tomorrow I'll email you with an important matter. So please, please make sure not to send today or tomorrow. Send December 1st sent me an address that was in Bangladesh. Bangladesh or Bangladesh? Bangladesh? I think so. And she was like, copy the address and paste it on Google Map, then see the post office. There you have to send and send me a tracking number. I love you so much. Like, she seemed so giddy. But I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Because in the Gleam account, again, it shows your first name, your last name, your email that you use to enter, and your location. It pulls your IP address. This person, Jenny from the block that was supposed to win, is from Massachusetts. This winner is from Bangladesh. So, your email didn't match, your location didn't match, something is off. So, I was like, oh, maybe my system is wrong, but the link you applied to said you were in Massachusetts. She completely ignored me saying you're from Massachusetts. And then I was like, you know what, I apologize for the inconvenience, but can you email me from the email you used to enter the giveaway? It's a precaution that I have to do. I decided to give her a little hint and say that the email was a hotmail email. If you know what email you used to enter the giveaway, kindly email me from that email. Simple as that, right? And she's like, when did I? And I'm like, when you entered the giveaway, you used that email, blah, blah, blah. The next day. She's like, oh, now I understood what you were trying to say. Actually, the Hotmail link that I entered in is expired now. Now I'm unable to connect with the Hotmail email. So sorry. And that's 
I'm guessing this is what she's saying. It's not English. This is why I had to make another email. Now I can't do anything if you don't believe your loyal supporter and winner. Mm, no. So when she decided to take a whole day to reply to back saying that, I decided to do a little bit of research. So I went on Jenny of the Block youtube account to see if she's a real person and so i went on there and it looked like she just made this account like it said new user or something like that and i'm just like okay so i also decided to go back to my gleam account and see how jenny from the block entered my giveaway so she subscribed to my channel and she also visited my instagram so i'm like okay let me go to my instagram type in jenny from the block and see who's following me if she's following me i did find someone um, and I kind of scrolled through her page. I requested her to scroll through her page and she has little landmarks um, From Massachusetts. So I'm like, okay, this seems like it's a real person. The name matches and the location matches So I went back to my YouTube and I found someone that resembled The Instagram Jenny from the block and this person's actually subscribed to me The fake Jenny from the block the one that's emailing me claiming to be the winner it's not even subscribed to me so I'm like how are you claiming to be the winner when you didn't su so you're not subscribed to me the email doesn't match the location doesn't match and you're telling and you're demanding me when to send things so I kind of went out of my way to contact the Jenny from a buck that I found on my YouTube and Instagram that matches the location of Massachusetts the real Jenny from the block responded back to me she was like oh my god I'm, I'm a winner thank you and I was like you know what can you send me an email from the email you entered because I still need to have a precaution like I, I'm not about to go send all my stuff to Bangladesh like no so I got an email from the real Jenny from the block and I told her the situation I was like thank you you know for um, proving that it's you because there is someone that is trying to win your um, your items and she's like, yeah, I actually did check out the video and see that someone else was claiming the prize. So I'm just like, this girl thought she had me. So I went back after she responded saying, oh, no, I understand. My email is not working. And I'm like, you're not the real winner, so you can stop. Nice try, though. It is a shame that you're trying to claim someone else's prize, especially during the holidays. She was just like, oh, yes, 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 I'm not the real winner. That's what I was trying to figure out from you. I wanted to let you know that many people are doing doing like this she's just speak english so i wanted to stop you to believe liars and do you know why i said you to not send now in bangladesh because i thought if you really believe i'm the real journey from the block then you would send me and i whatever it was not english whatever and she's like you won congrats you won my belief challenge i was never in the mood to receive the gifts and i'm like karma is all i have to say have a great life and then she emailed me what does that mean i didn't even bother because again karma it is what it is but it's like the fact that this person was really trying to scam me is like you tried it and so I did some more digging and um, I'm gonna expose her real name her real name is Sanaya or something like that and I went on YouTube and typed in Sanaya I guess there's a girl named Sanaya tube or whatever that is subscribed to me I looked at her videos and I think this is what she does she wins giveaways tries to scam people into winning giveaways and she does an unboxing on her on her channel so just look out for Sanaya tube look out for this person claiming that this is her I may have exposed her email address she could easily make a new one that is up to her I don't care but I just wanted to kind of like share my experience of someone trying to scam me out of my giveaway goodies so okay so I'm gonna quickly just show you what gleam looks like just so again if you're planning on doing a giveaway or contest you kind of know what to look for the way that I knew that this Jenny from the block was not the real winner is because it shows me your name as a contestant it shows me you know your Instagram if that's what you how you entered it shows me your email address it also shows me your action um, and this person visited my um, Instagram it also shows me where you're located because it pulls your IP address. So this person's from Mexico and it shows me when you did it. But this is kind of how I knew that 
the fake Jenny from Block was fake because none of her things that she gave me matched. So that's why I definitely recommend you using the Gleam link to do any type of competition or giveaways because it pulls a lot of different information. So again, I hope this kind of just builds type of awareness. Just be careful for the holidays. There's a lot of people scamming out there and trying to pretend to be someone they're not. So just be careful. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Make sure you watch my last couple videos. I've been like doing different things like I did my first vlog the other day and I did a couple challenges with my boyfriend Asa so make sure you go ahead and check on those videos tell me what you think I'll catch you next one have a happy holidays and be safe guys bye